Do you really know the difference between must and have to? To begin with, the main difference is that must is a modal verb, whereas have to is just an, an ordinary verb, a lexical verb, followed by an infinitive with to. So, as a modal verb, when you use must in the affirmative, you say you must go, a bare infinitive. In the negative, you say you mustn't go. And if you ask a question, you say, must you go? Modal verbs don't need anything else. If we were talking about a he or a she, you would say, he must go. Again, with the infinitive. However, when you use have to, because this is an ordinary verb, in the affirmative, you say you have to go. In the negative, you say you don't have to go. And if you ask a question, you ask, do you have to go? Do you have to go? So you need to use auxiliary verbs here. If you mean to say that there is an obligation in the affirmative, you could choose either must or have to because they, are, they mean roughly the same. There is a slight difference, but they, are, they mean roughly the same. So you could say, she must be back by 11 or she has to be back by 11. The thing is that when you mean to talk about an obligation that existed in the past, in the affirmative, the problem is that the verb, the mode verb must has no past tense. So you can't use must to express an obligation in the past. What you have to use, then there is no other alternative. You have to use had to. So, for example, you would say, when I was a child, I had to walk 10 minutes to go to school. And this is the only option you've got. And then when you use the negative of these verbs, be really careful because this time in the negative, mustn't and don't have to don't mean the same. If you use mustn't, you're referring to a prohibition when you can't do this because this is forbidden. So when you say you mustn't shout or you mustn't drive faster than this, you're saying that this is forbidden. You can't do it. However, if you use don't have to, what you mean to say is that there is an absence of obligation. There is no obligation. This could be a synonym of don't need to. There is no need to do something. So if you say you don't have to stay, you don't want to, you're saying you don't need to stay, you don't want to. There's no need for you to stay. It's not forbidden. It's simply that there is no need for you to do this. Or if you refer to school children, you might say they don't have to wear a uniform. Again, it could be a synonym of they don't need to wear a uniform. So they don't have the obligation to do that. 